Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm going to share my screen with you and um, we'll get started on the PowerPoint. Again, thank you so much for having me. I am so honored and delighted to join you. Now, this may take me a moment because I am a certification person and I'm not so much a, let's see. I'll go here. I'll go here. And just so you know, I have my young daughter helping me. <laughs> I'm not here. Because for technology, you know, what else but um but a young person. Oh my god. And share. There we go. All right. Are you able to see my screen? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, yes, it is visible. Yes, it's perfectly fine. Okay, very good. Well, again, I'm so honored to be here um, and welcome. Thank you so much, all of you, for joining us. Um, I'm Kathleen McGuire, the Certification Director for the International Association of Forensic Nurses, also known as IAFN. And I am delighted to be here to share with you a few minutes to discuss IFN and credentialing opportunities for forensic nurses. Now, before we begin, I just have to declare I have no conflicts of interest and the opinions herein are my own. So this session came about because we wanted to share some information with you about what the International Association of Forensic Nurses is and does, how IFN supports forensic nurses and can support you as a forensic practitioner, and IFN forensic nursing credentialing opportunities, which include certificates and certifications. So as I mentioned, the International Association of Forensic Nurses is often abbreviated as IAFN because we have a long name, but it cannot compete with I-N-P-A-F-N-U-F-S. And perhaps no organization on earth can compete with the likes of that. But IFN is the uh, world's first and foremost forensic nursing or organization. Now we have more than 6,500 members representing 57 countries. And since 1992, we have proudly served as a professional uh, membership association supporting forensic nurses and those who collaborate with forensic nurses. And we continue to lead in defining the depth and breadth of forensic nursing practice where health and legal systems intersect. So our goal really is to enhance our international membership, to strengthen IFN's internal global network and to increase our partnership with forensic nurses worldwide. Our mission really is to increase the network of healthcare providers worldwide who are willing, able, and prepared to deliver quality care to victims of violence. And we so applaud that you share this mission. So how does IFN support nurses? Well, Forensic nursing practice adheres to an established set of forensic nursing standards and guidelines. The IFN has actually developed a variety of guidelines, including those for the intimate partner violence nurse examiner, the sexual assault nurse examiner, and the forensic death nurse investigator. There, there are more even in the works. And IFN has created the core competencies for advanced practice forensic nursing, and the Non-Fatal Strangulation Documentation Toolkit. These documents are all available on our website for download. Um, all you need to do is go to www.forensicnurses.org. So in collaboration with the United States government, IFN has helped develop the National, Assault, National Sexual Assault Protocol for Adults and Adolescents the National Sexual Assault Protocol for Pediatric Patients, the National Safe Training Standards, the SANE 
program document and operations guide. And I have hyperlinked those, um, those two organizations. So you can just click on that and, um, and go to the, the sites themselves. Um, IFN has also created forensic nursing scope and standards of practice um, and the core curriculum for forensic nursing. And as you may know, these are foundational documents for any forensic, any nursing specialty and IFN helped develop those for forensic nursing. So we do something else too. <laughs> Since 2006, IFN has been awarded a US government grant to provide free training and technical assistance through our Safety A project. SAFE stands for Sexual Assault Forensic Examiner, and then the TA is Technical Assistance. So here, technical assistance isn't related to technology. It simply means free advice and guidance around a variety of forensic nursing policy, practice, and procedures as guided by the US National Protocol for Sexual Assault Medical Forensic Examinations. Now, although you may have your own jurisdictional protocols, IAFN forensic nursing specialists are available to answer your questions from whatever country in which you practice. This, fact, this past week, in fact, we had a request from a forensic nurse in South Africa. And by day's end, she had a packet of documents that met her needs for her forensic patients. Our forensic nursing specialists are waiting to help you. All you need to do is contact them at contact at safetya.org. So what does IFN offer its members? Well, we actually have a variety of benefits. So um, access to forensic nursing education is really one of the greatest things we offer our nurses. Um, forensic nurses, even in the United States, are few and far between. So it can be difficult to obtain quality education. We have more than 50 hours of free evidence-based um, education that's available online to our nurses. But we also offer other things, um, including um, an opportunity to invest in other professional development um, uh, sessions at really deep discounts, um, free access to publications like the Journal of Forensic Nursing and the weekly Forensic Nurses News, free access to IFN's online member community, to network, collaborate, innovate, and the ability to network with forensic nurses from really around the world. And nurses, forensic nurses tend to be very generous with their time and energy and um, sharing their expertise. So we, off, we also offer discounted registration for IFN's annual conference, um, discounted bookstore publications, free postings and viewing of IFN's forensic nursing board, and significant discounts on credentialing opportunities. So the light blue text there is also highlighted and can take you to the website pages. So we offer two types of memberships. One is a regular membership. It typically costs um, $129 a year and that's for nurses. We also offer an associate membership and um, that's for non-nurses. That's $109 a year. But for our international membership, we have developed a new system. The international membership, um, and I'm delighted to announce this, IFN has just approved tiered pricing for its international members based on the World Bank classification of economies. So what this means is really discounted international membership rates for, um, for folks and also discounted course rates. Um, so the course pricing isn't the normal pricing. It's based on the same um, tiered scale as, um, as the membership. So um, hopefully that will help us share forensic nursing education worldwide. Um, in addition, the IFN Foundation offers scholarships to international members who wish to join and need financial assistance. And seriously, all one needs to do to obtain a scholarship is to apply. They have the funds and they want to support our international colleagues. 
So we also offer student membership. So typically student membership is $75, $70 a year to join, but IFN has approved um, $45 um, for an annual membership for student nurses from India as a way to support um, uh, your, your growing um, specialty in your country. Um, but again, if anyone should be interested and need the financial support, um, the foundation is willing to help you. So all you need to do is contact membership at forensicnurses.org. So in summary, please take a look at the various aspects of what IFN offers its members. Now, let's turn to credentialing. So we can think of credentialing as an umbrella. According to the American Nurses Association and the International Council of Nurses, credentialing is the overarching process that's used to designate that a recognized entity has met the established standards as determined by a governmental or non-governmental agency that's required to or and qualified to carry out the development and implementation of these standards. So as you can see, we can divide credentialing into two basic categories, mandatory and voluntary. So registration and licensure tend to be mandatory. These are things like um, government issued driver's licenses or licensure or registration as an RN or an MD. On the other side are voluntary processes like certification and accreditation. So examples of these are professional certification like IFN's SANE A and SANE P certification or accreditation by an organization like ISO, the International Organization for Standardization for Accreditation for Quality Management or the American Nurses Credentialing Center, ANCC, where I worked for accreditation for approval and delivery of quality nursing professional development activities. So a certificate, as you can see, falls in the middle. It can be either mandatory or voluntary. A mandatory certificate would be, let's say, a birth certificate. Um, however, um, uh, the, uh, it can also be voluntary, like a certificate that one might receive from this conference or from completing a university-based forensic nursing certificate program. Um, many of those exist in the United States and in India. So here is an overview that we developed of the difference between a certificate and a certification. And these words are similar and Often people use them inter interchangeably, but they should not. Both involve specialized instruction and a test, um, oftentimes a test, um, but certification is much broader and is the only one to grant a credential, which are those acronyms that one might list after their name. Think of it like this. A certificate is sort of like a driver's license, although that's government issued. Um, you study and you're tested for one thing, driving. A certification is more like a diploma. You study lots of things, you're tested on a wide range of topics, not just say the rules of driving, and then you receive a credential. So what credentialing opportunities does IFN offer? Currently, we offer two certificates. This is specialized instruction followed by testing. We offer a certificate program in intimate partner violence, nurse examiner, and in conjunction with John Hopkins University, we offer a danger assessment certificate. And we're currently developing more certificate programs. So what about certification? Here are the certifications that IFN offers. Sexual assault nurse examiner, adult adolescent, that's the same A, and sexual assault nurse examiner pediatric adolescent. That's the same P. Our current number altogether more than 2,300 strong. So this includes um, not only SANE A and SANE P nurses from the United States and Canada, but also Bermuda, Cuba, Guam, Ireland, and 
we are waiting for our first SANE certificate from India. I also included on this slide um, AFN. Dash BC. That stands for Advanced Forensic Nursing Certification by Portfolio. This was a project that IFN collaborated with ANCC on from 2012 through 2017. ANCC actually stopped offering that um, program uh, in December of 2017, but it continues to renew it. So um, that's included as part of the certifications that we offer. So why would a nurse pursue professional certification? Well, certification tends to benefit three parties, the certificate, the public, and the employer. So first take a look at the benefits to the certificate. These personal benefits include professional recognition and respect, um, enhanced employment opportunities due to prestige and a competitive advantage, confidence in one's professional expertise as validated by an independent objective source, greater trust by employers and the public and bonuses such as higher compensation or greater autonomy. So that's great, but what about consumers? Well, consumers are an important reason for certifications to exist in the first place. Um, first of all, it provides external evaluation of professional competence. It can convey commitment to public safety by ensuring professional competence and standards. It reflects personal and professional responsibility and accountability. Recertification processes promote continuing competence and a public registry like IFN offers of certificates communicates transparency and fosters trust. So finally, how does certification help employers? Well, it can help them make employment decisions like hiring, salary increases, et cetera. It can offer a more productive and highly trained workforce. It might help reduce errors, accidents, or liability, and it can demonstrate a, a definite commitment to the public through the initial certification and the recertification. So we've just covered the benefits of professional certification in general, but what about SANE certification? So to find out, IFN surveyed more than 400 of our certificates about this very issue. And this is what our certificates identified as the major benefits of certification for them. They appear here in a bar graph. Rank ordered, they feather out from first to last as follows. Self-satisfaction. What a surprise for high achieving sexual assault nurse examiners. Credibility when testifying, professional recognition, demonstration of knowledge to help patients affected by violence and required by um, employer. And then finally, greater salary potential and expectation of a program. So in summary, a few years ago, we also asked SANE certificates what certification meant to them. And this is what they said. I love this slide. So here are some resources for you. Please know IAFN is here for you. So if you have questions, please contact me. I can be reached at certification at forensicnurses.org and we welcome your input interest and enthusiasm. And we are so honored to be part of this and proud of what you are doing in your country. Thank you. <laughs>